Hey, Shuba Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, I have had so many people ask me over the years to draw an eel or a hawk or something like that. I've had Mr. McGarner's class at the Sequoia Middle School, Hawks, yay, go Hawks, uh, have asked me to do just that. And Paraguay uh, just recently has asked me. So this is what I'm gonna show you how to draw today, but let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Well, I'm going to start this roundabout here and I'm going to draw a kind of a curve like that, which is going to be the beak. And then that's going to go into this kind of attacking, screeching hawk kind of <laughs> mouth looking kind of thing. And then from here, I'm going to go up and around and then the eye will do something similar here. And I'm going to do the eyeball like that with a little cut away in it there. And then I'm going to kind of draw the kind of neck part like that. And then I'm going to bring this down and around and I'm going to do these claws really quite simply like that and then up there and then we're going to need to see another claw in there as well and we need the they, those are the toes really aren't they and those are the claws and then we can bring the other leg sort of coming out there in a similar pattern these kind of three blobs on the end Kind of going there like that and then we're also going to want to have another one inside and then we want the claws attached to the toes we could maybe add a little bit of kind of shading to the toes because they're kind of rough aren't they that will give a bit of texture to them as well and then we're going to want the tail sort of coming off like that and then we'll bring a wing coming up and out into the pinion feathers and this is where it gets really complicated and this is not this is not as kind of detailed nature study <laughs> a lot of this I'm making up as I go along and it's what I think it is um, and I know we get I think these are called the coverts or the coverts these feathers it means covering, I suppose, does it? I don't know. And then these are the pinions. So they're sort of coming in like that. So these are kind of like, like the little fingery ones right at the end. I'm sure some um, ornithologists go wincing as I say fingers. <laughs> so that's not the right term. And then we need to kind of bring these ones in there and these are kind of overlapping underneath and we're going to want the quill bits down the middle and then we're going to want to see the next one again with the primary fingers right at the end there and we're going to see this sort of coming in like that and again we're going to have these Coverts, 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 I think they're probably called because that I think it must come from the word cover. And again, we want these primaries, and again, we want to put in all these sort of central quill lines as well. And then the tail, I'm going to uh, do like that. And one more there. And again, we want the central quill parts coming down the middle. And then we can maybe add some other little kind of fluffy feathery marks and things around like that. I think I'm going to add some of my classic Albrecht Dura style clouds. I love these clouds. And I'm going to color this in very, very simply. It's just a kind of a generic hawk kind of thing. It's not meant to be any particular breed. So if you're an ornithologist, I really do apologize. <laughs> 
and I'm sure there's all sorts of little details that are wrong if you're <laughs> if you are a serious ornithologist. This is really for if you're doing a school project or something like that and you want to draw a hawk and you were wondering how to do it. Or maybe your class is called the Hawks or something like that and you want to uh, <laughs> do your kind of school logo kind of thing. And then I'm going to do a kind of darker shade in under there. A bit of a dark and darkening up in there as well. And then I'm going to darken up the wing tips. And I'm going to put some little bands across the, the tail as well in a darker kind of, it's called neutral tint in fact, but it's, it's not black. I'm just going to put those little marks in. And then maybe do little bits on the ends. And then maybe some little dib dab dibs of kind of stripes that they sometimes get on feathers like that. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow into his eye and then a tiny little bit also just to put some kind of texture on the legs there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you want to draw something else, click here. Go and see one of my most popular videos, how to draw a barn owl. And I click here for the mystery drawing. <laughs> Make sure you click up here and subscribe to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel on YouTube for lots more drawing videos every week. And in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.